hello and welcome back to my channel um first of all i want to say sorry for not posting more videos like i promised back in january so this week i am going to do the my first time tag and no it is not the inappropriate thing you're thinking of right now it's the simple innocent acts that you do every day for the first time um so i've got the list of questions on my phone and let's get started so the first question is first youtube video you ever watched that's a tough one because i'm not too sure if it was a youtuber or a music video um i actually think it could have been oh i don't know <laughs> i think it could have been justin bieber's like one time or that's the first one i can remember anyway um the next question is the first person you subscribe to on YouTube and I know this one. It is Alfie Days aka Pointless Blog. He was the first YouTuber I've ever watched, first YouTuber I subscribed to, first YouTuber I fell in love with. He was poss possibly the reason why I wanted to start up my own YouTube. I absolutely adored him. That's like, I remember like his very first videos, like that's how long, I don't know how long ago that is, I think it could be like seven, eight years but that's how long ago it is. Oh god, third question's very deep. Do you still talk to your first love? Um, I don't think I've ever been in love. I've been an idea with, I've been in love with the idea of love, but I've never been in love. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know who I like, had a really big crush on and I loved him. <laughs> so, I, I'm inconclusive. That answer is inconclusive. Uh, first kiss. I, oh god. Everyone that knows me that's watching this now is going to be like, ugh, what? I don't know who it was. I have no idea who he was. He was some random young fella in the Harriers in Tullamore back in the day. 2007? 8? I don't know when I went to the Harriers first. But some random young fella who was either from Leash, Westmead or Offaly. And like, that's how, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm such a slut. Sorry, ma'am. Um, first alcoholic drink, that had to be Smyrna Vice. And I'm not saying when, because family members are watching this now, but I know it was Smyrna Vice, or it could have been Wicked. Or Bacardi Breezer, actually. One of those three, I'm not too sure about. I'm not saying when, I remember when, but I'm not saying when. First car, I still can't drive. I'm 22 years of age. I haven't done my theory test and I can't drive but I am doing my theory test this year I'm not saying when because I don't want to put pressure on myself but I am doing it and I will learn how to drive this year it is my goal it's on like my my bucket list for 2016 to pass my theory test and learn how to drive um so I don't have a car so <laughs> why would I have a car if I don't know how to drive uh first job my first job was with my neighbour she is a fashion boutique and I went and worked with her in her shop and his apple on a uh, work placement in what you're saying fifth year for LCVP which is like a program that we do in our secondary schools what in your like final two years um to kind of get you out in the workplace prepare you for your first proper job I suppose so I done a week working with her and I remember my first night I was so excited I was going to a fashion show where looking back now it was very like minimal compared to the fashion shows I go to now um but I remember meeting um what's her name oh I can't think of her name I, I see her I see her picture there Michelle Heaton is it Michelle Heaton I think it was Michelle Heaton. I'm not too sure, but oh god, this is embarrassing. <laughs> if I can remember, I'll probably insert her name here, but I'm pretty sure it's Michelle Heaton. Um, and oh my god, I remember going to school going, oh my god, it was that fashion show, and I, I met Michelle Heaton. Oh my god, and everyone was like, who is she? <laughs> and seriously, thinking I was great. But anyway, um, people watching this probably don't even know who she is, but she's, she's relatively famous. <laughs> um, my first celebrity crush, I know this, I know this very well. Uh, Brian McFadden, if you know who he is, he is in Westlife, well was in Westlife. And I remember the day he left 
was a very sad day for me so sad that I got really angry with him and like on the back of my door in my other room next door I had a big poster of just Brian McFadden and the day he left I tore it down and ripped it to pieces as if it was the end of the world and to me at that time that was the end of the world and looking back it was very irrational because it was like irrational not rational um it was a very nice picture of him and I'm, I'm kind of angry with myself that I'd done that but uh as soon as he left us, I kind of stopped fancying him. <laughs> but he was on the Late Late Show last night, and not the James Corden Late Late Show, the Ireland Late Late Show with Ryan Tuberty. And oh, all those little first fangirl crush feelings came back. So yeah, he's still on that list. <laughs> first real boyfriend, still waiting on him. I have never had a real boyfriend. Awkward, 22. Never had a real boyfriend. I'm sorry. I've I've let the female population down. I know. I'm sorry. Who was the first person to text you today? Okay, I know this. This is Sarah. Um, and the message was. Wait now, Sarah Jane. What happened on the twenty fourth to the twenty sixth of February? Also March eighth. Now, you're probably thinking, why is she asking that, Sarah? And I, I do it as well. We write down every little thing that happens every day in our lives. Just so that like in future, like even as far as to say next month, if we wanted to look back and see what happened on that day, we'll know exactly what happened. And I tend to do it at the end of every day. But Sarah didn't do it for a couple of weeks there. Because as I said at the beginning, life has been so like stressful. And like we barely have time to sit down. Because <laughs> college, life, everything is so busy at the moment. So she was asking me because... I take note and uh, yeah she's the only person to text me today actually <laughs> oh no she's not I did get another message um yeah but that's not important that was work the first person to ring you today first person to ring me today was Celia Homily and I don't know if you can see can you see oh yeah yeah Celia Homily yeah she rang me today and I missed her phone call actually because I was taking a nap so I have to ring her back, that's why there was a call back. Um, who was your first grade teacher? These questions are obviously American, but um, first grade, is that like first year in secondary school? I'm not too sure, but if it is, I had like 13 teachers, so <laughs> I can't name them all, but it's in primary school. It was Mr. Gleason. He was my last teacher, I think. Yeah. I can't, I can't remember really um where was your first sleepover my first sleepover like first place I slept that wasn't in my house was my granny and granddad's because my mum and dad used to have like really long um hours in work when I was very young um my mum had two jobs actually so there was very little time for them to like mind me in between so I'd stay in my granny and granddad's when my mum would have like a night shift and my dad would be up very the next morning and stuff so I'd stay at my granny and granddad's and then after that it was my auntie Caroline and then after that it was my auntie Margaret and then what I can't like I don't even know it was probably Yvonne did I even stay in Yvonne's house I'm not too sure Lisa, Lisa Amanda oh <laughs> There's there's a good few possibilities for that answer. I'm not too sure. What was the first thing that you done this morning after breakfast? I went for physio. On my knee. Eventually. I am in agony right now. Um, It turns out that my knee injury was a lot more serious than I thought it was. I have a really deep muscle injury in the front of my knee, in the back of my knee, and it actually stemmed from an old hamstring injury that's gone down into my knee. Like, my whole leg is basically so badly damaged right now, it's ridiculous. Like, the physio was like, how have I been coping the last five years with this pain? And to be honest with you, I don't know. I've been putting it off. I'm like, yeah, sure, it's only this, that, the other, it'll go away eventually, but oh my god she was doing some exercises today and she was testing it against my right leg and 
within like five minutes of doing these tests on my right leg and then on my left leg we could see a huge difference my right leg is so much stronger in every little exercise that she done and I actually got really upset I was like oh my god like I didn't realize it was this bad and she done a few rubs on my leg and she found the core of my problem and it was like it was this knot but she said it wasn't the typical knot that you get like you know the knots that you get in your back and whatever I should be saying properly as well um she was saying like it's not a typical knot and she was trying to rub it out and the pain of it oh my god I was biting my hand because it was so sore like I was crying and everything um so she gave me exercises to do and I'm to go back and see her in two weeks time but the good news is she did say I could go back hip hop dancing in September or before that if I wanted to but she was like maybe September might be a good one and just like build up the strength in my legs at the moment especially in my left I had to think there for a minute and like if I can maybe start getting into a routine with exercises so maybe going to a gym or getting gym equipment at home and just like you know maintaining the strength in my knee but I honest to god didn't think it was as bad as it was and when I got the results for my MRI because I had an MRI scan a few weeks ago I thought that before it, I was like, it's definitely ligament damage or something. And when I get the results back, there was no ligament damage. So I was like, oh, thank God, no operation. But it still didn't satisfy me because I was in so much pain. But now this answers it. Like, she was surprised that I could walk for the last five years with the pain that I'm in. So, yeah, that was what I was doing on a lovely Saturday morning. Going for physio that put me in pain for the rest of the day. I was there sitting on the couch watching Ireland's rugby match with, like, a hot water bottle underneath it in agony but it's the road to recovery and I'm happy that I'm going somewhere in now and it'll be fixed in a few months so thank god <laughs> um, the first concert I went to I know this hearsay and I know it because I'll never forget it I went with my cousin Emma my auntie Caroline and my mom. I'm not too sure who else went I think one of I think my cousin Emma, her friend, went with her as well. But I just remember the four of us there, and it was hearsay. He probably don't even know who hearsay are. I don't even like. I can't even remember some of the songs they used to sing. But I used to love them, and Liberty X supported them. I think. Yeah, I think. But hearsay was my first concert. First broken bone was my funny bone in my right arm, and it will never be fixed. I can like. I, I'm not going to show you now, but I can actually like, oh yeah, I can stick my like fingers into the back of my funny bone socket and oh, I shouldn't be able to do that, but I can. And yeah, I remember, I'm not even going to explain how I done it because looking back now, it's so stupid. But um, yeah, I still get pains in my arm because it was such a bad break. Like it was so bad that I didn't even cry. I was in such shock. That's how bad it was. Um, the first movie you remember seeing. I don't know it was definitely a Disney movie because I had all the Disney movies on what called VCR tape now you have DVDs god I sound like such an old one um yeah I have all the Disney movies on VCR and I'm now collecting them in DVD form while well, my mum is getting them for me um because it's on my book list out of all the Disney movies on DVD um seeing the Cinderella is my favorite I'm pretty sure Cinderella is the first movie I saw, but it obviously wasn't in the cinema, so I'm not too sure what the first movie I saw in the cinema was. I actually can kind of remember going to the cinema for the first time with my mum in Port Leash, and it was like the really old cinema. It was like where, like if anyone from Port Leash is watching right now, or Mount Rat, or anyone in Leash is watching, if you remember the old cinema in Port Leash, it's where Extra Vision is now. And I just remember going to see some movie there, but I can't remember what it was. Um, the first sport you were involved in, probably Gaelic football in primary school, in coming a month school. Um, I was I played midfield and goalie. I used to switch like one half I'll be out in midfield and second half I'll be in goalie. Um, I gave that up though before I went to secondary school because of injury. Um, yeah, not really sporty, but I love watching sports. How ironic. Um, oh no, your first tweet. 
I actually downloaded my archive just to find this because I have a lot of tweets. I have like 69,000 tweets. I need to get a life. So I looked up, right, and I'm going to, because my first tweet is in Garish, I'm going to read you my first three tweets, right. So the first one was on the 1st of July 2009. I need to go on holidays, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I am so bored, exclamation mark. I'm so riveting, oh my God. Second tweet was the next day going, OMG, four weeks till we get the junior cert results. <gasps> Don't want to know how I done. And yes, it is spelt in that awful text language. And I'm ashamed of myself, so very ashamed of myself. And then the next tweet was the same day going, OMG, Owen Quig is on expose tonight. Can't wait. I love Owen Quig and about a hundred X's. <laughs> How embarrassing. I'm cringing at myself. I'm now going to go and delete all these tweets now. Um, let me see, was that all the questions then? Yep, that's all the questions. So that was my my first time tag video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please, please subscribe. I'd love to at least get 100 subscribers before maybe May. So let's see if we can make that happen. And uh, I'll try video another video. I'll try film another video soon. Uh, so that's it for now. Goodbye.